If you're a project-based business, maybe in design or engineering, and you're looking for a simple job costing solution, Zero Projects is just the thing for you. If you haven't enabled Zero Projects yet, click your organization avatar and select Projects. If you've already purchased a Zero subscription, click Add to Subscription and follow the next couple of steps. If you're currently working in a trial account, click Get Started. Once you have access to projects, go to the user settings to give staff members access. Start by enabling projects and then select a user role that allows them to do their job. If you don't want users to have access to the accounting parts of Xero, uncheck Business and Accounting. Save your changes and return to projects. As an admin user, you have access to add staff cost rates. Go to the project settings and edit each staff member to add a cost rate. Xero uses this information in the project's detail report to calculate the actual cost and overall profitability of a project. Standard and admin users can create and manage an unlimited number of projects. Choose the type of project you're creating, for example, draft. Then find an existing contact or create a new one. Then enter a descriptive project name and pick a deadline from the calendar. You can manually enter a project estimate or let Xero calculate this based on tasks and expenses that you'll enter next. The next step is to add the tasks and expenses that make up this project. Let's start with the tasks. Enter a name or select an existing item from the inventory list. Setting up inventory items as tasks saves you data entry time. It also creates consistency across all your projects. Next, enter the estimated hours to help you monitor the progress and completion of each task. Continue to add more tasks that are relevant to the project. The next step is to add expenses that you expect to incur during the course of the project. Enter a new expense or select one from your inventory list. Create inventory items for expenses that are common across all your projects. Xero automatically copies the quantity and unit price across, saving you data entry time. Next, select the appropriate charge, for example, percentage markup. Complete the information and save. Once you've added all the tasks and estimated expenses, use this information to send a quote to the customer. Base it on the tasks and estimated expenses or project amount. If you select the first option, Xero selects everything in the project by default. Clear any items you don't want to show in the quote. Then choose how you want to display and combine the checked items. For example, show individual tasks and combined expenses. Finally, you have the option to use the project name as the quote title. When you're done, save and open the draft quote. Review the quote and enter any missing information. For example, add an expiry date. Once you're done, send it to the customer. Then return to the project. When you're ready to start the work, change the project status from draft to in progress. Open the project to log time against it. Find the task you've been working on and click the menu icon. Then select add time. Start by entering the number of hours and minutes you spent on this task. Note that limited users can only add time for themselves. All other users can change the staff member to log time on behalf of someone else. As you continue to add time, the progress bar will show you if you're on track or if you've gone over the estimated time. Now let's move on to expenses. There are different ways to add an expense to a project. For example, from inside a supplier bill, click this link and follow the steps to assign one or multiple lines to a project. Xero adds the project name to the line item. Once again, let's return to the project. You will see the supply items you just assigned under expenses. Click the menu icon to edit it. You can track this expense against one of the estimated expenses that you added earlier. Xero automatically marks up the amount by the percentage you specified. If you've incurred an expense that isn't associated with a bill or spend money, you can add it directly to the project. Enter all the details and even track it against an estimate. Keep an eye on the progress bar as Xero will let you know when you've gone over the estimated expense. To see all the expenses that you're tracking against, click the down arrow. It helps you investigate why you may have exceeded the estimated amount. Continue to add time and expenses as the project progresses. Then, when it's time to invoice the customer, 
select one of the three invoicing methods. For example, a deposit invoice. Enter the details and go to the draft invoice to complete it. Always keep an eye on the status panel to keep track of uninvoiced time and expenses and days left to complete the project. And also, don't forget to download the Xero Projects mobile app to manage your projects on the go. For example, add locations and let Xero automatically suggest time entries when you're within 100 meters of your project location.